Welcome. So what I like to do is show you how to rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise about the origin, or this can also be 270 degrees clockwise about the origin. Okay, um, but the main important thing is about the origin because that's going to be kind of like our fixed point that we're going to be rotating about. So there's kind of two different ways that I like to do this. Um, the first way is I like using paper to kind of get an idea of how the rotation is going to work. And so what I like to do is use parchment or wax paper. Um, in this case, I just have some paper. And what I like to do is draw my figure on that piece of paper and I can kind of put it over and you can see that, right? Um, so make sure that you align you know, your origins together. And then it says rotate 9 degrees counterclockwise. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep my origin because that's it's about the origin. So that's going to be like my fixed point. You can kind of put your finger or a pencil on there. And then rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise. So you can see now by rotating it, the origin is in the exact same spot. But now the difference is you can kind of see like the x-axis here changed to the y-axis and the y-axis now changed to the x-axis. And all these points are in different coordinates. Now, if you have a sheet of paper and you have like graph paper, you can simply look at that and identify what the new um, coordinates are and then go ahead and plot. But there's another way we can also do this. And there's a rule that we have. And the rule basically is swap the y and the x coordinates all right, and then negate your y coordinate. Um, so now remember, when, you're, when I say this, um, you're not going to be graphing it now with that as your x and that's your y. When I still do this, so I have a prime is now, I swap, so it's now 3 comma 6, and then I negate the old y coordinate, which is now my new x coordinate. So you're still going to plot them as far as x and y's. I'm just taking what the old coordinate would be. Here's my old coordinate y. I put it now in the place where the x is, and then I make it the opposite sign. So by doing this for all my coordinates, I can say b is going to be now, since that's a negative 2, it's now positive 2, comma 4. And c is now going to be negative 4, comma 0. So let's go in, um, oops, and these are all now my new image. So I'm going to make sure I label them prime. So now by graphing these, um, now I can just graph each point and then um, go back and compare it to my original uh, graph that I used on the sheet of paper. So I can go over negative 3, 1, 2, 3, up 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that is now going to be a prime. b is at 2, comma 4, 1, 2, up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's b prime. And then c prime is now at negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0. Okay. So by rotating this 90 degrees counterclockwise, this is going to be my image or my pre-image and now here's my new image. And let's go ahead and compare that to what I did on the sheet of paper. I originally had the graph looks like this. By rotating it 90 degrees, I get some, about the origin. It looks something like this, which you guys can see I didn't do too bad of a job by graphing that. So you can use a sheet of paper to rotate about the origin as well as using, this, um, using that rule for your coordinates to find your new coordinates of your image. Thanks.